Welcome. I know you're glad to be here. I am, and I'm glad to see you. Creo, you know who we are, or at least you think you do. Everywhere you turn, we're there, whether you see us or not. Maybe it's time to take a closer look. Creo is one of the world's largest manufacturers of consumer and industrial products, but we're so much more, and that's why you're here. At Creo, we're always reaching for the stars. change the world, the project resolve, we aim to save it. There's no divide here. At Creo, we're all in this together. So welcome to your new life as part of the Creo family. Believe it or not, but I just had the incredible honor of meeting Jonah Gutenberg, founder of Creo. That was an amazing experience. I mean, you already know that Creo is not just another company. Our founder, Jonah Gutenberg, has a vision. A vision of a better world. We've all seen what has happened during our lifetime. This is not the future we were promised. Jonah saw the world deteriorate before his eyes. It was not just a social economic problem, a divide between the haves and the have-nots. No, it was bigger. Crops were failing, sea levels rising, droughts, floods, storms. Our world was dying. Project Resolve designed not as a band-aid, but as a cure. With every launch, the integrity of our atmosphere is being strengthened. With every rocket's payload, our world is being reseeded for future generations. Jonah used his considerable influence to bring together world leaders and corporations to create the Kyoto Accord. No longer could the environmental changes be ignored. Many even deemed it too late. But Jonah had an idea, and using his company's extensive resources, he'd already prototyped what would become Project Resolve. And that's why you're here, to make a difference. That's why Creo's here. That's why we're all here, to make a dream reality. Not just for us, but for our children, and for our children's children. Creo's not just a company, it's a way of life. Here you're not just seen as anybody, you're somebody, somebody special. At Creo, we have your well-being at heart, and that includes body and mind. Creo's more than just a job. Here, your family. Here, your home. But you want more, right? Why pay for expensive gym and spa memberships when Creo has state-of-the-art facilities right here? And as for vacations, what if I told you you can have one every week? That's right. With Creo's Dream Tour Systems, or DTS, you can go anywhere in the world and even beyond. DTS feeds directly into your neural interface, and voila! You're on a beach in Rio, or Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Something more cultural? How about a stroll along the sea in beautiful Paris? Or what about enjoying the Colosseum during the height of the Roman Empire? That's right. DTS can fulfill all your desire. Enjoy a two-week vacation in less than an hour with DTS. Wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do, is just a click away. With so much to offer, why would you ever leave? I know, I know. You've heard me say it again and again, but Creo cares. Let's be honest. Over the last couple of decades, things haven't been too great. We know. We've seen the figures, and that's why we created Project Resolve. But with an ailing population, developmental problems, disability rising, and an alarming rate in children, some would have you believe it's too late. At least that's what elements in the media would have you believe. But Creo has you covered family daycare centers to full medical coverage. Your family is our family. The average workplace can be littered with hassles. But at Creo, we're proud to say we never had more than a stuffed up. With the implementation of our rigs, we've made you stronger 
faster, tougher. The rigors of the workplace won't even give you pause. And due to the integration of your neural interface into Creo's core system, our professional healthcare staff can monitor your well-being 24-7. If that doesn't make you sleep tight, I don't know what will. It's my utmost pleasure to have Jonah Gutenberg, the founder and, dare I say it, brains behind Project Resolve with us today. <laughs> Jonah, if I may call you Jonah. Absolutely. We don't need to stand on ceremony here. As we like to say, at Creo, we're all family. It's a privilege to have you here. You've been called many things over the years, from boy genius, startup days, to potential savior of humanity. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but yes, I've definitely been called many things over the years, and not all of them as nice as that. <laughs> Your honesty is humbling. The truth is, while politicians and scientists were fighting and trying to lay blame, you stepped forward with a solution. Look, the fact of the matter is, something had to be done. Where does arguing get us? Nowhere. Some divorce lawyers may disagree there. <laughs> True, but our problems are global. We needed to step up to the plate. I was fortunate in timing and position that I was able to do so, but I wasn't unique in the desire to make a change. This isn't about personal glory or fortune. Project Resolve is the largest endeavor of its kind. The best minds on the planet are all working together with Creo's crack team of scientists and developers to make sure that we can have not just a future, but a new beginning. A chance to start afresh. We're all in this together. And together, we will overcome. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us today. We can only hope to live up to your example. Thank you, Don. Thank you. And thank you, all of you who work so tirelessly to fulfill Project Resolve's mission. I know from talking to many of you on the production floor that Creo is more than a job. It's a calling. And again, I thank you. Without you, my dreams would be just that. Research and development on Resolve and its deployment in our atmosphere has led to some unique innovations. You're already familiar with your rig, but what about all these crazy tools? Well, powered by your exoskeleton, our engineers have fashioned new equipment that enables you to perform tasks that our automated assembly lines wouldn't be able to achieve. And without your rig, nor would you. But let's take a closer look at one of these tools. This one is hot out of R&D. Designed for critical power loss, an operator can use the inducer to instantly transfer energy to the failing system or unit completely recharging it. This is essential in our space operations where even electrical fluctuations can lead to death or injury within seconds. If you can imagine it, Creo can design it. Although Project Resolve has grabbed most of the headlines, don't forget, Creo consumer products are in millions of homes the world over. What would we do without Creo? Creo is family. When we say that, it's more than the camaraderie we feel for our colleagues, more than Project Resolve's vision for humanity. With Creo, you become part of a whole. As every cog in a fine watch is vital to the accuracy of the piece, so are you to Creo and Project Resolve. Our neural interface enables us to easily connect with our workplace and associates, increasing efficiency and reducing tedious, time-consuming tasks. Have a problem? Creo is right there with us. 
We all share the same goal. Better tomorrow and a brighter today. And we'll achieve it together. Does a garden bloom overnight? Was Rome built in a day? We all know the answers to these questions. So why do people expect the rebuilding of the atmosphere to happen so quickly? After all, it took almost two centuries to make it this way. I know, I know, we're all impatient. But with every passing day, with every launch, Project Resolve evolves. Our process and research is ongoing. From manufacturing efficiency, payload distribution, chemical composition, even down to the recycling of materials. At Creo, our scientific staff labor day and night to improve and build upon the foundation of Jonah Gutenberg's original vision. No one has ever attempted what we're trying to do. New discoveries and methods allow us to push the very boundaries of science and technology. Every day your work benefits the future of mankind, bringing us one step closer to our goal. It is a huge task, but together we can do it. Whatever it takes, we will build a new Eden, a utopia for all. I'd like to welcome back Jonah Gutenberg, founder and CEO of Creo. Jonah, thank you for coming. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Don. Now, usually it's me bugging your office to try and get a moment from your busy schedule. But today, you actually requested time with me. That's right. And I appreciate you talking to me at such short notice. No, thank you. You've obviously got something on your mind. Yeah, and now I'm going to speak frankly here. Over the last few months, Creo has been viciously attacked by certain elements in the media. They've been propagating myths and inciting the public against Creo and Project Resolve. Honestly, it's hard to believe. Why would anybody want to do that? Don, you know as well as I. We know what it's like out there. They'd sell their own mothers for a headline, and that's what it's about. Make no mistake, they don't have any altruistic intentions here. It's all about the money. Sensationalism sells. These allegations of sky fracking, that Project Resolve is responsible for the increase in disease and disabilities over the last few decades? Garbage. Complete and utter garbage. Sorry. It's hard to keep my calm. What have these people done for humanity? Have they sweated and bled like we have at Creo? No. The personal attacks, I don't care. They can honestly say what they like about me, but against those that work here at Creo and the people behind Project Resolve? That's where I draw the line. The world was dying. Did anyone else step up to the plate? Did anyone else raise their hand? I invested all I had in Creo and Project Resolve because I want to invest in the future of humanity. Unfortunately, this story is all too common so-called press and left-wing media. They'd rather make up a story than follow the facts. But what about the people and the growing sentiment that we should be looking for another solution to Earth's problems? The people? They will point their gaze to whichever way the wind blows. It's in our history. No matter how many times visionaries throughout the centuries have worked for the betterment of mankind, they've been demonized, roasted alive as heretics. There is no such thing as gratitude from the masses. You must work for the species and yourself, or not at all. Mm. So thank you for your time. Always a pleasure to, to hear you speak. I'm sorry if I got a little carried away. But I am passionate about my convictions. I've always seen Jonah Gutenberg as the face of Creo, but he's not alone. Creo's board is made up of the cream of the crop, and too often their views are not heard. Today we're going to change that. Please welcome Tobias Green. Well, thank you, Don. It's a pleasure to be here. I was told Mr. Gutenberg is currently unavailable. Would you like to elaborate? Now, as you may know, Jonah has been suffering from extreme stress recently. We're at a critical phase here at Creo. In fact, I dare say it's a new beginning. 
Would you care to elaborate there? No, not currently. As I'm sure you understand, confidentiality is of the utmost importance. Of course. But we have huge decisions to make on a daily basis, as well as the smooth running of operations here at Creo. With the recent tide of dissent against Project Resolve, we've come to the conclusion that bold steps need to be taken. And what would those be? Again, it's too early to elaborate any further, but be assured we have the best interests of humanity at heart. When the time is right, all will be revealed. There are tough choices that need to be made in the days ahead, but rest assured, we will make them. Uh, forgive me for saying so, but that does sound vaguely ominous. No, not at all. But you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. I'm being told that that's all we have time for right now. So, um, uh, thank you for your time. It's a pleasure that I introduce to you Howard Bonham. Thank you for such a warm welcome. I know people like to think of executives in the same manner as accountants. Or are they the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> Always welcome here. Well, after my colleague was in, I wanted to bring forth another point of view. It's true, we, we have disagreements from time to time, but isn't that what being human is about? <laughs> And the one thing we're trying to preserve at Creo is humanity. That's our end goal, after all. <laughs> there are those who would play politics, but this isn't the arena for that, and I'm, I'm sure cooler heads will prevail. That's certainly good to hear. There have been rumors about a new version of Project Resolve or something to replace it. There will always be rumors. R&D is doing some incredible and we'll always try and push the envelope here at Creo. It's what we do. But let me assure you, we've crunched the numbers and Project Resolve is the way forward. Thank you so much for your time. After a lifetime of speaking on camera, I suddenly lost for words. I'm sorry. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, Rianne. I could have been a better husband. A better father. I wanted to make it right. Prove I could make a difference. Well, I made a difference. It's not the one I'm proud of. And that's what I wanted. I wanted you to be, be proud of me. I made so many mistakes. The biggest one was not fighting for you. no way out. I don't want them to get me. I, I know they're there. I can hear them. They were never who they pretended to be. And I, and I helped them create that lie. Don't, don't let Jewel know. Please, please don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her it ended like this. I love you both. Please know that. Always loved you, Rihanna. I always have. No one compared. I don't want to think that that's the last time I'll hear your name. Don't you want to wake up to a brighter wake up to a brighter future? I know I do. Wealth is worthless when people are hungry, sick, and the planet is dying outside your window. I get it. I finally get it. That's why I decided to make a difference. We can all make a difference. We just have to want to do it. 
It's exciting, right? We're at the gateway to a new frontier here. Project Resolve and Creo will change everything. We're looking at a new dawn for mankind. Look at us. Look at us as a species. We deserve to exist. There are no gods but the ones we make, and they were always made in our image. We are artists, engineers, writers, poets, musicians, scientists, geniuses. Every single one of us has that spark. The mistake we made, and yes, we made mistakes. That's another beautiful facet of being human, and being big enough to admit it is another. The big mistake we made was thinking we were masters of our domain rather than a partner. No, um, not even that. She's called Mother Earth for a reason. No one else has nurtured us, provided for us, kept us safe, but we cast her aside, arrogant, smug in our superiority, eh, our technology. Well, the one good thing about our science is that with a lot of hard work, and it's going to take all of us, we've got a chance to turn things around now. Please, have you seen my daddy? He, he went to find me. A new leg, but he, he didn't come back. Please, make him come back. Please. He, he promised to take, take me home. I miss Daddy so much. Please, Uncle Warren, please. I don't, don't want to be alone. I miss Daddy so much. Please. 